So my name is Olivia Oldham. Uh, I've been interested in sustainable agriculture for many years now. Uh, I've done academic research on it in the past and I also write for my website called Yellow Wood about this topic. Um, I'm going to the University of Oxford in October to study a Master of Science in Nature, Society and Environmental Governance. And yeah. My name is Mickey Porta and I live here in New Canaan. I have um, a background interest in conservation and sustainability. Um, I'm with a group called Planet New Canaan and we are a um, nonprofit initiative in town that raises awareness about environmental issues um, here um, specifically but also all over the world. Um, actually I dated a guy uh, when I was younger who was at university in New Zealand where I'm from uh, studying agriculture and he took a lot of courses in, in things like agroecology and sustainable agriculture and so I initially became interested because he would tell me about what he was learning about. Uh, we broke up but I <laughs> stayed interested in the topic and I thought it was very exciting the way that the more you learn about it the more you see that agriculture can be a way of solving many of the problems that we face today in the world and especially a way of demonstrating how we can live in a better world. Um, so I took it upon myself to learn more and it became my passion. Yeah, I was interested um, when you first talked to me about this, I was really interested in the format. This is a completely um, new format for me, this discussion lab, and I was drawn to it because I think it's an important way of having a more substantive conversation, um, discussion about um, specifically this environmental issue, um, which is, it doesn't really lend itself to sound bites. There are a lot of sound bites out there about climate change, about you know conservation in the environment, and I think this is a really neat way to get together and kind of talk about what we think we know, mm. um, and then maybe leave actually knowing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, or having a better or idea. Or having a better idea, right, honing yeah. in, yeah. digging a little deeper. Yeah, I actually, I came up with the idea for the discussion lab. Uh, I didn't call it that, but I, uh, I attended a meeting of uh, the climate activism group Extinction Rebellion in New York City a few months ago, and I came away feeling very much like I needed to do something about the climate crisis that we find ourselves in. Uh, or that we've created for ourselves, um, but feeling sort of powerless to do anything about it out here in, in Connecticut where, the, where there isn't, a, that group doesn't exist out here. Um, and so I thought that maybe I could host at the library a sort of article discussion group or like a book group but for articles uh, about environmental issues that don't get a lot of coverage in the mainstream media, things like can cows actually be good for the planet? Um, and then I spoke to the director of the library about it and she thought it was a great idea but she wanted to do it about all sorts of different issues, not just the environment. And so what ended up happening is that this is now the inaugural event of a series of discussion labs which will be about all sorts of topical uh, social issues. Um, I would say about this topic specifically, there's a book that the library has in its collection called Cows Save the Planet by a woman called Judith Schwartz, uh, which is one of the first books that I first read about how animal agriculture can be a solution to the climate crisis rather than just a problem or one of the causes of it. Uh, it presents the science behind this. Uh, what's in the article, the science, very clearly uh, and easily to understand for someone who, like me, doesn't have a science background. Um, it's fascinating, it's exciting, I really recommend it, but there are lots of other books in the library's collection uh, and other online resources and organizations who are doing a lot of work in this space. Yeah, and I think if, if maybe diving into a book um, or a lot of articles seems intimidating or just more than you want. Um, I can tell you that Planet New Canaan does a lot of programming with the library, also with the Nature Center and other organizations in town. And, and it's really sort of a, a, a gentle way to um, you know, educate yourself or at least get your feet wet. We do lectures, we do films, um, panel 
um, discussion. So that's something you could check out too, Planet New Canaan. And one other thing that I would say as well is I work for a podcast that's based in the UK called Farmerama. Uh, and it's a 30 minute podcast episode once a month that's about small scale farmers around the world trying to make the world a better place through farming. So that's also a really accessible, fun way to learn more about this topic. What gives me hope is that this isn't just academic, that, that all the research about this is based on people who are actually doing things, like the farmers who the article that we're discussing today uh, in Marin County, or like uh, Gabe Brown, who's a farmer in North Dakota, or Joel Salatin, a farmer in Virginia, who are farming carbon and living a better life, and their animals are living a better life, and the people who eat their food are living a better life, and they are putting into practice the future that we want to see, not only for agriculture, but for everything. And that that's exciting, and that gives me hope. Yeah, that gives me hope too, but quite honestly, um, another big source of hope for me is Olivia, um, and people like Olivia. I think that um, younger generations have grown up um, hearing about climate change and understanding perhaps um, more directly and more deeply um, the, the dangers and the challenges and so I think that you know uh, I'm, I don't plan to be on the sidelines but I do appreciate your energy um, and the sort of collaboration um, the, the how we can leverage one another's you know experience and interest to really move this issue out of a kind of you know nice to know um, into a need to know space yeah so um, I, that's it for me. Great. Um, thank you, all of you who have tuned in. And um, we hope you'll participate in future discussion labs at the New Canaan Library. So stay tuned. Bye. Bye.